Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use a cucumber or a gherkin test with Certify and the SAP GUI. So if I look at my feature file here, I can see I talk about my feature, create sales order, I've got some background and scenario, and then I have my syntax. Given I enter VA1 in the OKCD OK field, I enter my data like 1710 into the sales org, and so forth. Um, ideally, a business user has written this file to describe the data they want in the workflow. They've done some things, like they've said what the status bar should be saved, you know, they take a screenshot, so forth. So what I'm going to do is load this Gherkin into our converter and have it resolve. So what I see here is my syntax. I can see I enter the, the VA1, the order, the 1710. Now you'll notice three fields are yellow. And what that means is the object library doesn't know what those fields are. So we need to resolve them. Okay, so let's see. So it looks like the sales org, the distribution, and the division, they have a little bit different labels. So instead of making the user go through and change these, um, because they maybe didn't agree on what the label should be when they were developing the system, what we'll do is we'll just teach the converter what these fields are. So I'm going to go fix them. I'm going to highlight, I'm going to say sales organization, and that distribution channel, they, they called it dist, it's distribution on the label, that's fine, we can heal that, and then div versus division. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the fields and then adding them to the object repository. So now any of the gherkins that reference div or distribution channel or disk channel will know how to handle them. So I'm going to create my feature file. And I'll generate. And what's happened now is we've taken the syntax and we've converted that into uh, WorkSoft syntax and the, our capture file syntax actually. And this allows us to do the mapping between the data on the field and actual physical objects and actions. So if I import it, what we'll see is a certified process. I'll give it a name. And it is part of the SAP general accounting system, so those are the objects we're automatically identified into our repository. And now I have a test. So let's look at our certified process. So what does it show us? I can see I have the activity, I have the VA1, I enter the sales order data, I send the inner key, um, I see focus, let's see, there's capture the image of the desktop, um, I have my verify step to make sure that the status bar has the right information. So it looks like a valid test to me. So we'll come over here. I'll just go and put this on the main screen so we can see the navigation change. And I'll run this. So if I say start, what will happen is Certify will start to run the test. Um, I'm just going to go run and I'll bring it over into the forefront again so we can see it run. So what will happen now is the actions were converted into the narrative and it'll start walking through the interface and entering the data. And we can see this it's running quite well. We'll get our material, our quantity, press the enter key, save it, and it verified that the um, sales order was saved. So what we saw here was a simple gherkin. The syntax shows how to um, enter data in the screens we understood the navigation, they hit enter key, they went to tables, uh, we took screenshots, and they actually did verification. We actually verified that, the, that it was accepted by the system because the status bar had the correct value in it. Okay? So thank you for watching this video. I um, hope you'll look at other ones on our YouTube channel.